Hey everyone, I'm Travis. I'm a conservation educator here at the Salado Wildlife Education Center. And today you join me at our white-tailed deer exhibit. And we're going to take a look back at Kentucky's deer population and our herd health and how legal regulated hunting seasons played a part in that development of our herd. Today, it's hard to think of a deer as being a rare sight to see in Kentucky. Most people have probably seen one along the highway in their backyard here at Salado, or if you're a hunter, somewhere out in the woods. That wasn't always the case though. In the 1940s, the total population of whitetail across the whole state was only 2,000. This was due almost entirely to overhunting and habitat destruction. So in 1946, the recently recognized Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources offered its first ever extremely limited deer season that fall. And those limitations on the hunting season continued for about 20 years. In the 1960s, the deer population had risen to an estimated 35,000 across the whole state. That is roughly the same size population of a city the size of Richmond today. Now, it was at this time that the Department of Fish and Wildlife decided we needed to escalate our efforts. And in partnership with the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife began trapping and relocating deer from Wisconsin to Kentucky. These relocation efforts continued for the next 30 years. And the first harvest during those 30 years of over 10,000 deer was in 1981. The stockings continued until the final year of 1999, and that stocking took place in Perry County, Kentucky. Today, as we stand here, the total population of whitetails across the state is estimated at about 1 million. And hunters since the 2000 season have harvested no less than 100,000 deer every season. The reason for the success is well-regulated and legal hunting seasons overseen by the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. Now our hunting season runs from September to January, depending on the type of equipment you are using to hunt. The timing for these seasons are important for two main reasons, for the hunter and for the deer. It is important for the hunter because it gives us the best chance to encounter a deer during the fall seasons. It is the deer's breeding season, also known as the rut, so it gives you the highest chance to encounter a deer. Now it is important for the deer because during the spring and summer months, mother does are giving birth to their fawns and are having to take care of and raise them. These fawns are not yet old enough to take care of themselves and look after themselves. So if a mother was harvested in the spring or summer, deer mortality rate would likely rise as a whole. Now, with these regulations and seasons in place, Kentucky has maintained one of the healthiest deer herds across the nation for the past 20 years. If you're interested in learning more about Kentucky's deer herd health and population, please check out our website at fw.ky.gov. And if you plan on participating in our hunting season this fall, as a reminder, you must have a completed hunter education course, a proper license and permit to hunt in the state of Kentucky. While you're out there, please remember to always point your bow or firearm in a safe direction. While you are out there, you must also wear your hunter orange on your head, chest, and back. If you do harvest a deer, you must also telecheck your deer that same day. And while you're out there, I wish you good luck. I hope to see you in the woods.